What are you doing, Clint? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I just ate that damn Kit Kat. <laughs> you gotta get it all off my teeth. He's like an old man. Kind of, I mean, I would just take my teeth out and drop in some water clean. All right, let's get this. This year's Clint. This is Jim Bob. And we are the Whiskey Drinkers. That is right. And this is another edition of Save Jim Bob's Taste Buds. Yeah, aka Beer Review. Have been saved yeah, by saved. this point. Yeah, years ago. All right, so let's get to it. Without any further ado, let me bring to you... Super slow motion. Fuck it, regular. Get that there. Sierra Nevada Hazy Lil Thing IPA. Hazy Lil Thing. Now this was brought to us by Horsecock. Like, oh wow! Horse got presented this to us. Insert the horse sound. <laughs> I can't make a horse noise. I don't even fucking try. Bam! All right, this Sierra Nevada Hazy Little Thing IPA is uh, from the Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, Chicago, we California. We love Sierra Nevada. Um, and Mills River, North Carolina. Um, let's see. Family owned, operated, and argued over. Wow. It's interesting they printed that. Yeah, it is. There's a 12 fluid ounces Somebody right here. Keep and uh, not a lot of other it's information. Pretty on cool it. looking can, though, right? It is kind of cool. It looks like a. Uh, it reminds me of like almost old Fago can. It like does. Like a lime Fago. It does. Uh, it's a 6.7% alcohol by volume. Not bad. Please recycle. And. Uh, well, it's an IPA. Other shit that don't matter. Basically means that it's got a hot base to it. Yeah, so it's a cracker open. And this here. is in a can. Normally we got the bottles. This is. It's a can. How can it's you go wrong with yeah, the I mean, can? It sounds legit. Right, a little poor test here. Now, I've heard people say that if you get beer in a can, it preserves it better because you, there's no light that gets into the bottle or whatever. So, this is the most premium shit you can get. Well, Man, we had an adventurous day today, didn't we? We did have an adventurous day. Oh, look at that head. Holy shit, it's look at that of, head. Of, well, I kind of slopped yours a little bit. Well, Mine was I a little like sloppy head. See, it's not as thick of a head. I do like me some sloppy head. Mm. Here we go. See, I like mine a little tighter and do more you? conformed and yeah. organized head. Look at that shit. It looks pretty. Oh, man. Now, you can see at the bottom here. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. The bottom is a little lighter. It's almost like the color is saturated, setting down. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it just has to do with the curvature of the cup. There might be like little chunks of stuff in there that hasn't settled yet. And the light's reflecting from here. Oh no, if you look at it in the light, it looks pretty uh, pretty uniform. Now there are some chunks in there. Yeah. Or that's just the dirt in the cup. One of the two. One or the other. It might be the dirt in the cup. Do you beer. have any chunks in yours? Probably. Hold it to the light, Jim. Your light, Jim Bob, not mine. Oh, well, Jeez. Yeah. I see little Yeah, I can't tell if it's the uh, bubbles in there or if there's little things floating. It does look like there's some little floaties in there. Looks like there's microorganisms living inside this bear. And I'm pretty sure the glasses were fairly clean. Yeah. So I, mean, we, we yeah, I spit in them and wiped them out. Well, then they should be fine. Yeah. Sterile. Like a dog's mouth. Exactly. All right. Well, it smells. Like urine. It smells hoppy. It smells good. It smells clean. It smells almost like a, like floral. A floral thing going on there. That means flowers. Uh, I want to. Oh, Louie, you want to smell something? Shut up. No, that, little, I, that one kind of I'm just kidding. These stinks a little bit, so I want to. Lou, you got that shit all over your face. All right. It smells good. Like I said, it has a crisp, clean smell to it. It does. I feel like whenever I drink this, I'm gonna, it's, the end is going to snap off like right into an apple. I have a feeling that the um, the hops in this one are going to be pretty extreme. Oh, uh, I don't want to say extreme, but they're they're going to be prominent. They're going to be biting. They're going to let you know that they're going to kick you right in the nutters. All right, let's go in. Down the hatch, swish around. Woo! Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. You're supposed to savor the flavor. I do. I do it all at once. That is pretty good. Yeah. All right, the hoppiness isn't as bitey as what I maybe thought it was going to be. It's got a slight hoppiness, 
just enough to make him an IPA. Woo! That don't hang. It's not like you're ready to rate. Well, that's a kick in the balls right there. You want to go ahead? I'm, I'm still um, savoring this here. Well, I'm not ready to rate it. Oh, you're not there, not there uh, yet. Burp Ooh. effect, pretty decent. Burp, full effect, burp effect. Hmm. Shit, well, I guess I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to rate this one as an IPA. This one right here is a pretty damn good, pretty darn good IPA, if I must say. It's real smooth. It's not too crazy on the hops. It Shit. doesn't bite as much as I thought it was going to Yeah, bite. yeah. And the way it smelled, it looked like it was kind of like, oh, it might be some bitter beer face. Now, now I do have a little not bit of bitter taste in the back of my mouth like I just ate some girl's all out. But uh, other than that... Did I say that out loud? You said that out loud. Oh shit. I'm just kidding. But uh but yeah. Weird burps. Weird burp. I'm just I'm gonna give it a four. I can't give it a five, but it's pretty damn good. Why aren't you giving it a five? Well, just because uh, you know, I can't be uh slanging that around to everything. I think it's good, but it's not the best IPA I've ever had. <clears throat> That's about it. That's about all I can say. It's nothing special. It's pretty good. I'm gonna, agree, I'm gonna agree with the four. Yeah. Um, it's really good. It seems like the more I drink, the more I lose the good flavor. Oh wow. Um, that's kind of weird. Like, yeah. I guess it's the more you drink and your mouth gets used to the flavoring. It could be the more the flavor kind of starts to turn a little bit. Could on be, me. or it could be getting flatter as it's sitting there. Because at first. Um, I was tasting some orange in it. Yeah. And I was liking it. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like a citrus could be some, orange. Yeah. I do <clears> taste <throat> some citrus. But then the, um, I let out a couple child burps. Yeah. Some little ones. Little baby burps. Testers. Because, uh, there's something, something on the back end of that burp that I don't really care for. Yeah. It's almost like a, like a pre puke burp. Yeah. See, it reminds me about a dog scooter. Pretty much worthless, but it's got some heart to it. Good company you know I mean? once in a while. Yeah, good company once in a while. I don't think it's too bad. I, I mean, uh, Sierra Nevada, they've done better, but this is pretty good Sierra Nevada. You guys are pretty damn good company. Yeah, it's hard to go wrong with Sierra Nevada. It really and hell, is. four isn't too well, bad either. No. Um, I do like it, though. I do. And Hazy Little Thing. I like that. I like the name. Like, you hazy little thing. That's whenever I'm drunk at the bar and I see some girl cross away, and I go, you hazy little thing, you... Yep, and I like, uh, you know, family-owned, operated, and argued over. It means their family's all drinking these beers, yelling Fighting at each other. each other. That's pretty cool. It, it leaves a nice little flavor on the back burner, too. It does. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. But yeah, it's pretty good. Four, four out of five. I think that's fair. Yeah, and it's really boils down to, would you drink another one? Yeah, and I would drink another one. Yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't drink two back-to-back. -back. You know what? I don't know if I'd drink a six-pack of these. Not these, riding a rail. Yeah, we got to say that. Yeah. It'd, it'd be good, you know, switch this it is, off. This goes into the bunch that you have where you got like maybe a six pack of different things. Yeah, you can get the, yeah. So each, you, know, you, you sit down like, I'm going to drink a six pack. Yeah. And then you have six different beers there that you drink all in a row. True. I'd put that in a, in well, a, in a mixer matcher. Well, some people really love the hops and they love it so much. That they want to marry it. So what I'm saying is, some people might love this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. If you're if you're a hopper, you'll love it. Yeah, if you're all hopped up on hops, you'll you'll probably like it. But if you just like put it this way, you go to somebody's house and they're like, "Hey, you want to try one of these hazy little things?" Yeah. You're like, I've heard of that? Fuck yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but then if they're like, "Hey, you want to drink these for the rest of your life?" You'll be like, "Nah, nah, I'm gonna shoot myself." Yeah, something about the burp. About the burp. That's what's turning me. Yeah, it's not good. It just has a weird, weird flavor to the burp. Weird little aftertaste. Well, those, uh, you know, you said it tastes like citrusy and shit. Yeah. That's in the hops, I think. Yeah, the hops yeah. taste like different citrus. Between the hops all and the yeast. Of, tastes like all kinds of things, like spices and all kinds of things. All right, well, that's our review. I all think right. that's pretty good. We both gave it four out of five. Yep, go out and try it, guys, if you like hops. Sierra Nevada, good every time. Fucking sponsor us. Sponsor already. us. We've we love drink, you. We've been drinking and reviewing your shit for a for, while. Yeah, now. exactly. I mean, we don't want, like, a bunch of money. We just want, like, free beers. You know, and a bunch of money. Yeah. All right. Until next time, we'll see you later. See you later.